Now don't throw away what's left of the Sunday chicken. Not that you get much off a chicken, if you ask me. You turn it into an easy snack or dinner. Oliver Dunn has some great suggestions. Welcome to the afternoon show, friends. Thank you very much, Miles. Michelin star. Yes, absolutely. Bon yeah. appetit at Malahide. Got yeah. a great write-up. Brilliant. Yeah, delighted. Yeah, we'll just. Uh... Now they don't throw them to anyone. It's a big deal to get one. Don't be be modest. Yeah, no, no. Um, it is a big deal, of course. Yes. There's only, uh, I think, there's only six now in Ireland. It's the fastest Michelin star in Ireland uh, in, in Irish history. So wow. uh, it just happened. We, we we didn't try. It just like we do our bits and we keep going. Because you're good at what we got you do. It, and that was it. So that's why we can't get all the way to Malahide. I'm only joking. So that's why we <laughs> invited you in. Yeah. So what are you going to? cook for us. What I'm doing is basically, um, as we said, leftover chicken from your mm. Sunday rolls. You have the, the day, next day you'll have, might have the legs left. People don't like the leg meat. They might say it's a bit tough, the mm -hmm. darker meat. So you can do something with it. So what I'm going to do is a chicken and wild mushroom risotto. Very, very simple. Um, so first what I did is I made a stock. Okay? Okay. So now you don't have to make a stock. You can use chicken bullion. Um, there is some wild mushrooms, dried wild mushrooms I put in it just to make... Can we look at the stock? Just down, tell yeah. me what you put into what we're looking at. In there I have the chicken carcass. So I picked all the meat off the chicken. I put in there, I put it in with onion, um, okay. celery, shallots, mm -hmm. oh, thyme. I see the onion, look. And then why it's dark like that is because I put some wild mushrooms in it. Now, you can use any dried wild mushrooms because mm -hmm. of the intensify the flavour. I use uh, seps or porcini as they're called in Italy, uh, mm -hmm. the porcini mushrooms. Um, and just cook that stock. I let it on for about two hours. Um, but as I said, you can just use a, a stock cube, but just use the dried mushrooms. Dark. That's did... because of the mushrooms. It's, it's the colour coming out of the mushrooms. Oh, I can think because mine is clear. That's yeah. the mushrooms. Okay, so brilliant it. stuff. Okay. And so we now, have the chicken that you got the meat off. The chicken we got the meat off. Yeah, Already. so I've just picked the chicken. There's the okay. meat there, left over. A few little ingredients here. What else do we have? Some Parmesan. Lovely. Mascarpone. Lovely. Just butter and then flat parsley. Excellent. The first thing I'm going to do is just make a risotto base, okay? So how we do that is just dice a shallot. Yeah. Okay, really finely. I don't finely. have much success with risottos myself. No, that's no. so simple to do. You know, you but just they're have to... not, Oliver. I know you all say that to me and every chef that comes on the show says that. But it's the... It's the isn't, aren't you constantly stirring and keeping an eye on it for a certain amount of time? Isn't yeah, that but it? I'll show you today. It's very okay. easy. It's just in a pan, put in some olive oil. Okay. Not too hot, okay? You don't want to fry the onions off to make them go dark. No just butter, just oil. Just oil, olive oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, this is keep it. So a little bit of salt to the start, which draws the water out of the shallots, okay? Mm -hmm. And just stir them on a low heat for about 30 seconds. Okay. Then also, what we're going to do is after they fry off and they get soft, as I said, don't colour them, we're going to put in the rice. So we use arborio rice. Now, now there's loads this... of different grains. So don't make the mistake using, using long grain. Long grain. No, 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 no completely no. Yeah, if you're Chinese, we're not you do that, like, you know? <laughs> Well, the difference that's, with Arborio... That's a nice way of saying it was a ridiculous yeah, lot of yeah, it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. The it has, contains five times more starch than long grain. So then, Ooh. when you cook it, it releases the starch. As a result of it releases the starch, that's why it gets all creamy. Oh. And that's why it results. Fluffs up. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So if you use the wrong rice, Soft that thing. effect won't come through, right? So just, you put the rice in mm -hmm. with a, a bulb of or clove of garlic and just bang that with your hand. You, you oh. don't want to chop it up because you want to take it out at the end because you don't want them to eat it. But oh, you release the flavour by banging with the hand. And you stir that and you fry that off. What you want to do is you want to start cooking the outside of the rice mm -hmm. so it fries and obviously the starch starts releasing out. Mm -hmm. when, as that's frying off, you have your stock and the stock should be hot and not cold stock. Never put cold stock in, but the simple reason you've started to fry it off now, the rice is releasing the starch. If you put cold stock on top of it, okay. you'd shock it so the outside is going to go raw again. Oh, very good. And you overcook the outside and the inside will be grainy and you'll have little bits. This is just with risotto? Yeah, we, when you're cooking risotto rice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So don't use cold stock, just hot stock. Yeah, okay. just, it'll tend to give you a little bit of a grainy texture. Okay. Excellent. So that's it. And just add a little bit by little bit in. You don't put too much in at a time. Just enough See, to cover. See, this is when it gets tricky. You just have to be patient. Make sure every grain of rice is in it and just put, add touch by touch because you don't want to overkill it because otherwise you're going to overcook your rosto. Okay. It, it's not a soup, you know, so mm -hmm. just Cook it down really, really slowly. When you're finished, it'll take mm -hmm. about 20 minutes. Lovely. And for 250 grams of raw rice, it's a pint of stock. Once Brilliant. you're cooking it at the right speed, once you're not really, really boiling, you just okay. let it simmer. Excellent. When you have the base, it'll be like this. Okay? Gorgeous. So I'll just t I tip it out onto a tray to stop the cooking process. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, it would overcook. Oh, so what's the texture at this stage? Has it got a little crunch in it or is it No, soft? no, I don't. It, it's... it's there's text. It's not like a hard crunch. Yeah. You, you can feel the actual individual grain of rice. Okay. There's, well, there's a little a bite. Li slight, slight bite. Okay. What I'm going to do is just fry off the wild mushrooms. Okay. So look at olive these. oil again. Can we just have a look at these? Do you mind if I just no, say go ahead. which is which? That is a uh, is a shiitake. This okay. is a yellow oyster. Okay. This is a uh, Paris brown. It's called. And Paris this little brown. lad here is a girol. Oops. What's that one called? Girol. Girol. Oh, it's yeah. French. French. Yeah. Excellent. So, what we're going to do, hot pan, again, mm -hmm. bang a clove of garlic, again, because you're going to take this out at the end. Mm -hmm. Throw it in. Put your mushrooms in with no salt, okay, because all mushrooms are really hot pan, I meant to say. Mushrooms are obviously. Salty. Not, yeah, with the water content. Yeah. Incredibly high water. Okay. So, by put, if you put salt in from the start and the pan is not, it's going to bleed all the water, you're not going to get any flavour. Ah. So, you want to. Fry them as much as possible with no salt. Throw in your piece of thyme. Now, I have to say, all this is the salt. Throwing the salt in is new to me. 
You don't put salt in... At the end, only at the end. Well, there's too much water in the ingredients. Yeah, because once you put the salt in, it's going to draw the moisture out and they'll actually be poaching, they won't be frying. So you won't get that fried flavour, which is the... Mm. It gets technical down, it's called. It's reactions when, when there's no colour on anything, then the flavour the flavour's created through colour. So, yeah, that's good technique. If you could do me a favour and grace... He's a scientist as well. ...a little bit of parmesan. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Get me to work. Who told you that I worked in the kitchen? Well, I've seen you once or twice, so uh, I'd use you when you come on. Frying. So what I'm going to do as well, as these are frying, I'm just going to start the actual make and the finished product, okay? okay. So this rice is going to cook, so I'll use the one I have already. Mm-hmm. As a base, and I said, just tip it out onto a tray. What we have in a pot, get some of your yeah, stock, water. reserved stock. Mm-hmm. Make sure that's on. That's so what's Bon Appetit's thing? Is it fish? Is it meat? Is it French It's a bit cuisine? of everything. It's like, my, most of my training is based French background. Oh, lovely. Um, I don't know, classical French cooking, but I just cook what I like, really, you know. Like, of course, you worked in Peacock Alley's with Conor Gallagher. I worked, yeah, many moons ago. That. Many moons ago in Pe Peacock Alley, that. yeah. So that was, I was working in Peacock Alley back in 97, I think, or oh, I 96. This. I only went once, it was a wedding anniversary. Little no, it was a very good restaurant to say. So now, as the mushrooms are starting to fry, and you can so see the starting to take Would you be like, like that kind of food, sorry? Is that, is Bon Appetit to be a Peacock Alley-ish, or? Um, yeah, well, that was mainly French-based yeah, yeah. as well, so oh. it would be. But we do everything, like I said, I, I put a Greek fish on the other night just because I liked it, so. Oh, yeah, what you put on? Uh, a thing called Scordalia, which oh, is that? basically a hummus is chickpeas and garlic. So Scordalia is garlic base, but you can use almonds, uh, walnuts, or potato. So I used almonds. I love it. It's oh, just an popular. almond and garlic puree. Only went on two nights ago, so I don't know yet. I'd honest. love that now. Yeah, I don't know yet. So if it doesn't sell, it'll be off the menu. So, <laughs> so now, when the mushrooms, like you can see, I just put a knob of butter in the last second. Uh -huh. Now the colour's there, okay? Mm -hmm. You just tip them out and strain them. Oh. Take out your clove of garlic, because you don't want to oh, that's right. give you an unwanted gonna... gift to somebody. There. It wouldn't be very nice to eat. No, but the flavour's already in there. The flavour's already in there. And then the mushrooms go into the pot here. No. Which we have the risotto base, the stock, the mushrooms, some of your chicken, which you have picked. Oh, could I forgot about the chicken. I would have eaten that on the zone of mine. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you just do, that's how you do a mushroom risotto. So uh, what you want to do is put it on a fast heat now. And you want to reduce that stock down until it's quite thick. Put plenty of salt in now. Ah, at the end. Yeah. Well, it, obviously, the mushrooms are cooked. Everything's cooked. Yeah, everything's sorted. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of mascarpone and some fresh parmesan. Um, if you don't have mascarpone, you can just use ordinary cream, just a drop of cream, and I just love mix it with it. That's the way the Italians do it, so yeah. why would you dispute it, you know? So. Absolutely. Now, parmesan, fresh parmesan, only grate the parmesan just by using it. Don't buy packets grated parmesan, no. it's just a completely different flavour you'll get out of it. It's, it's rubbish. Not the same. Yeah, basically, it's rubbish. So just grate your own. A bit of mascarpone. Uh -huh. And when you put that in, stir it. And keep on stirring it. If you just put that in and you don't stir it, what will happen is it'll just split and separate. It just makes it creamy. You know what? When we, when we started cooking, my stomach started rumbling. Yeah, mine too. And then I said, God, I forgot to eat my lunch. The sandwich in my dressing, I forgot to eat. But now this is my lunch. Beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. I'm just going to finish okay. with a little bit of chopped parsley just to freshen it up. So just run knife very quickly through some parsley. Perfect. I'm running out of colour. time. That's okay. There we go. So this is our chicken risotto with leftover chicken from yesterday. Those would have anything left on a chicken. Nothing on a chicken now. No, no, nothing. it's very little left. Nothing on a chicken now. And there you go. As you can see, it's very quick, simple, and you can do it. And it comfort looks food, clean. comfort food, Oliver. We love it on this show. So now, dig in and tell me what you think. Oh yeah, it's Easy. really creamy. It's the texture. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. Gorgeous. And you can do that yourself, no problem, like, you know. It's on the website, and it is, it is easy. It is easy. No it yeah. is easy. It's on the website, as always, rt.i forward slash the afternoon show. Shane, I'll give you a little if you yeah, come yeah. in. <laughs> a little. I was oh. told I could come in, but only after you finished mm. eating. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, Jan de Vries is here.